Well, it looks like it's going to be great weather. It's a wonderful course out on the golf course there. And, um, you know, they're excited to have all these fans come in. It's parents' weekend for football also, so we have a lot of parents coming in to watch their their sons and daughters compete. So overall, it's just going to be a great experience to be, to be at home. And you obviously have one meet under your belt. Kind of talk about what you saw in that meet, kind of what you look to build upon this, this week too. Well, that was definitely the starting point. Uh, we're just trying to judge and see where we are fitness-wise and trying to adjust workouts and what we need to work on. And it'll be the same thing this weekend. Um, there's about 13 teams here, so it's not a real big meet. A lot of local schools, so just try to do the best we can and kind of just see where we are fitness-wise and how this last three weeks of training has gone. This is a significantly larger and more formal meet than last week, too. Kind of talk about kind of how you're building and what you expect to see against these other teams, too. Yeah, this is the start. I mean, they're going to be a lot more nervous than last time. Last time it was just a practice facility really I mean it was just something we did to be able to practice up in that altitude so this is definitely where the nerves are going to be starting um, you know they, they it's a much more formalized meet with uh, what we have going on um, so yeah I mean it's going to be exciting to see what all these newcomers can bring to the field and, and what how they're going to take the pressure of this first time formal meet if you will and uh, it, it will build, be a building ground for something in the future. You do have a bunch of newcomers. Can I talk about who we should look for on both the men's and women's side? Oh, it's it's so there's so many new ones. I don't know. It's hard to even start talking about them. But uh, obviously, Kennedy Kithika on the men's side is going to be our leader uh, this year based on all our workouts and what we've seen so far and what he's done in the past. Coming in with two uh, national championships from the NAI division, um, has some great experience, and he's been a great leader so far in practice. So I anticipate that in competition also. And the ladies, man, there's just so many there, so many new ones that uh, we need to kind of see who's going to be up there and who's going to take that leadership role. So it's it's exciting to see this happen. And of course, you're familiar with too. Talk about the advantages of running there and kind of these guys training there, running there as well. Yeah, it's a beautiful course, uh, Meadowbrook Golf Course. They allow us to come out there and and do what we need to do out on that course. It's of course got great grass. The footing's good. Has a little scenic with the trees and and some up and down, some hills. So um, that part is nice. It's a beautiful place to run, and so they they get excited. All the athletes get excited about to be in that environment.